Yeah, making a video. <laughs> yeah, probably should. Don't have a real concise subject. So maybe I'll just pick on a Carla. Uh, you know, uh, horse. <laughs> He's coming to attack. An attack horse. Um, a Carla video. I mean, a comment where uh, she said something in Maine, of course, or he. Uh, that, you know, evolution uh, wouldn't create a, a brain that would uh, be capable of anything but um, survival rationale. So if it wasn't um, conducive to survival, the tool couldn't possibly be <laughs> actualized. It's just so silly when you think about, you know, how many animals have been modified through evolution. Uh, flightless birds, you know, lots of things that have um, changed in ways that, you know, seem um, counterproductive, uh, you know, uh, where they've basically devolved uh, and such. But anyway, um, I, you know, I've already made the point in my video, so maybe I'm just going to block him, it, now. Because, you know, it's no point in me, you know, I make the points in the videos and they're not responded to, so, what, I should make a question video just to this idiot? I don't think I'll bother doing that. Like, then you hear the part where I explained, you know, that our brain is a scheming tool. And scheming tools can be used to solve puzzles, like, you know, puzzle piece puzzles. Or they can be used to, you know, play chess. Or they can be used for all kinds of different things. Uh, it's just a tool. It's like a hammer. It doesn't have a evolutionary, it has to be for this purpose only purpose. I guess one could argue that our teeth uh, went through an evolution. Um, you know, and that, uh, you know, we probably, you know, went through different variations. You know, we had teeth that were made for maybe grabbing, and then we had teeth that were made for chewing. And then, uh, you know, we became social animals, so we had to go back to having teeth that uh, you know, we could do some biting with, uh, you know, biting each other, uh, you know, to scare each other anyway. And, you know, you can look at animals like uh, baboons and, and gorillas, you know, these aren't animals who are carnivores, um, their teeth are for self-defense. Um, so, you know, you can have a tool and it can have different purposes. In one animal, the purpose can be, you know, to drain the blood out of your food and to kill it and the other can be just to defend yourself from something trying to drain your blood um, and it's exactly the same tool so anyway I mean it's just you know these are they, they, these aren't you know challenging um, challenges they're just insulting uh, my intelligence <laughs> yeah that's all this is um, you know, there's explanations. Again, it's like the quantum stuff, the rest of it. These people talk all this talk. It's, uh, based on no evidence, no real evidence. It's just shit. And, uh, if it's really analyzed, if you give it a thorough thrashing out, you'll see the truth. And it's like the, the way people abuse statistics. Um, you know, because they, they cut the year off at 1984, and then... <laughs> you know, and, and if you count from 1981, you know, the line looks completely different. Um, you know, this kind of distortions, uh, efforts to deliberately manipulate the facts to, uh, you know, uh, defend a conclusion. But it's, this is, you know, I'm, like I said, when you do it deliberately, there's a point where you just call that just overt lying. Uh, you're not making an honest argument. It's like the truthers. You know, they're so much of their nonsense, is, you know, especially about 9 11, has been refuted decisively, completely. Yet they still talk about it, they still mention it. Uh, das Buch, in the conversation with Piero, brought up crop circles. I mean, crop circles was outed, you know, a decade ago. Uh, yeah, it was all uh, it's made up, it's a, it's a human activity. It has no alien origin. <laughs> it has no, there's no history except the humans who created it. Uh, and that's it. 
and yet he'll cling to it as if there's oh, this maybe there's something real here and they'll, they'll just go with this crap regardless of the evidence and uh because they want it to be true and uh you know it's just you know it's just these nihilist these you know darwinian uh you know um selfish cunts uh you know glib as hell uh like the carla thing um you know the well, I, I think that there was somewhere in you know one of her its comments it mentioned its father being a doctor and it knowing what misery and suffering was i just found that bizarre <laughs> yeah because i'm just like oh yeah sure you do uh you know it like mrs mangala nurse mangala <laughs> yeah i think you learned something else i think you get off on it you sick fuck uh <laughs> yeah but this is this point um anyway uh so yeah our brain is just a it's a hammer uh, you can use a hammer to commit a murder you can use a hammer to hammer a nail uh the, the argument being made here is evolution gave us a good modeling tool a schemer brain and uh the thoughts that uh, can occur to that brain one of those thoughts is hey wait a minute i'm caught in I'm caught up in something more complex than just me and my stomach and my sex organs. There's something more happening here. There's something more going on. I'm not the only consciousness involved. And then it can open that scheming tool to uh, putting those pieces together and putting the gameplay together. Again, it's just as simple as, you know, putting a, a smart enough rat in a maze and he'll climb the wall and he'll figure out he's in the maze and he'll figure out how to jump across the maze <laughs> to get to the food um and that's all we've done we've stepped out of the confines of nature uh we invented condoms we've done a lot of things to change the game substantially uh but we still haven't changed uh, enough because too few rats have uh, looked over the uh, top of the maze, have uh, pondered the laboratory, have uh, wondered sufficiently, uh, have uh, queried <laughs> themselves uh, to come up with better answers than God done it. Uh, you know. It's, uh, yeah, sadly. And, uh, you know, so the mass of the rats just do their wheel running and their maze walking. And uh, the few, uh, smart enough, are sitting on the top of the maze and explaining, you're getting gamed, fuckers. <laughs> you know, you're, you're being played with in a sadistic way. Let it go. Protest. Uh, stop being victims. Stop making victims, more importantly. So, anyway. So, that was pretty much the subject. Yeah. So, I wonder if the horse chick is still following me. Yeah, I guess she went some other way. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, is there anything else? There's so many little subjects here, but, you know, I'm just thinking about how to, you know, science should have more credibility. Uh, you know, there should be some better way to uh, challenge the authorities, challenge the Pope, challenge everybody. Everybody should be up to challenges. They should have to account for themselves in something other than some sort of prearranged uh, gobbledygook way. Uh, yeah, there should be like money for it. If you challenge an authority and you beat them, <laughs> yeah, they lose money and you gain money. Something like that. Yeah, speaking of money, <sighs> you know, I was doing some work and, <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard work. 
it was an hour's worth of work. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was just thinking how little that earns you, you know, $10 an hour. You know, it's a third of my rent. <laughs> you know, I just, I hadn't done anything. I haven't, you know, my day hasn't been paid for. And, uh, you know, it's just sort of depressing. <laughs> you know, it's very depressing. Uh, just thinking about how, you know, I'm going to be able to, I mean, I've gotten by, but I just, you know, I, I just, I squeak by. And uh, I would like to do a little better than that. I don't even know if I would like to do better than that. I'd just like to feel more secure that if I have to, I can do better than that. And that's where it's, where it's a little dicey. But anyway, that's another separate subject. Uh, you know, this, you know, the other thing is just how disappointing atheists are. So they're not really atheists. They're pantheists. They're all kinds of wacky theists. They have all kinds of silly philosophies of, you know, quantum speciality, <laughs> you know, uh, quantum human power, uh, you know, all kinds of bullshit, you know, spiral and spectral and holographic and, you know, find a funky word and they'll apply it to the human and just deny what we are, deny the the bug-like manner in which we live our lives and, uh, you know, because they want the better story and they just don't give a fuck about the truth. They don't give a fuck about uh, having something called credibility when they make an argument. Uh, you know, as the Carla bit shows, you know, they'll just say stuff that you've already refuted over and over again as if it has never been refuted. Uh, what's the point? Uh, you know, remake the same argument over and over to me. So I'm just uh, a troll. <laughs> a troll for uh, an agenda that is debaucherous, void of anything called decency, grace, beauty. Uh, they're just selfish gluttons. They want to justify their gluttony. Uh, it's disgusting. It's just, it's just, yeah, there's nothing to say. It's a bug planet. Nuked it from space. Uh, you know, the substance of the human race isn't, to, isn't worth the gasoline to, <laughs> you know, extinguish them with. Uh, really, it's just the truth. Most people suck. Most humans are ignorant. Uh, it's certainly selfish. Um, contrivers of convenient and glorifying rationalizations. Uh, no respect for the truth. And uh, no respect for the stakes. You know, it's, riding on this game we're playing. Anyway, now I guess I've said probably enough. <laughs> kind of nice here. A little breezy, but very warm today. Nice. Uh, good day to be out and about. Uh, unfortunately, I'm tired. Yeah, it's going to be a kind of a tedious day of working and such, in bits and pieces, I have to admit. And I do have the good fortune of two-hour breaks, <laughs> you know, two-hour lunch. Uh, you know, but I mean, I just can't, uh, it's just sort of horror imagining, you know, eight hours of hard labor. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> you know, I have to admit, I have done it. Well, don't, you know, I mean, I've had emergency days where I've had to do eight hours of hard labor, but I just mean it's a routine day in and day out. It's been a while since I had a eight hour a day job, thankfully. So I have a meager life, but, you know, 
have two hour lunches. Well, I don't eat lunch, but I think you get my drift. But I'm also not very uh, physically comfortable, so I do pay for my life in other ways. But anyway, I, yeah, it's really enough dog wood. Dropped a bunch of flowers in my pool. What the hell? Why the hell do you take the road? Oh, people do things like shouldn't mess with my pool. <laughs> I should leave it alone. That's mine, 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 mine. Okay, there it is. So I've got some clutter to clean up. But she filled up nicely. Almost. And, uh, yeah. And we're almost ready. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to warm it up. Anyway, until next time. And such.